The linotype, once known as the eighth wonder of the world, was invented by Otmar Mergenthaler in 1866. Mergenthaler revolutionized the printing industry by eliminating the slow process of setting type by hand. This machine produced lines of type, drastically decreasing the amount of time it took to create a printed piece. For nearly a century, the linotype was the print standard for magazines, posters, and newspapers. The process of creating a line of type begins with an alloy of metals being heated to over 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Lionel type operator Daniel Williams sets type at the machine's 90 character keyboard. The keystrokes release a matrix, which is a single character of a particular typeface. Matrices are stored in the magazine section, which creates a channel for the mats to flow down once released by the operator's keyboard. Matrices then drop down into the assembler from the magazine, where rail holds the mats into place with a jaw to set the desired line width. After casting mats are moved to a second elevator and lifted to the distributor at the top of the magazine, matrices are then returned to their designated spot in the magazine. When the line is full, the operator presses a casting lever, sending the matrices to the casting section. The operator can now begin the next line of type. The casting process is automatic and set into motion once the operator releases the lines from the assembler. This is where the type slugs or lines of type are produced. After the type slugs are finished, the operator will head to the letterpress room for printing. Get into the chase. To create the printed document, the lines of type are placed into a chase or frame. Wood blocking, known as furniture, is inserted around the type to hold the type in place. Once the type is set, the frame is tightened and locked into the bed of the press. The ink already applied to the press is transferred to the type in the form and pressed into the paper. The finished piece must be laid out to let dry. Linotype was a significant improvement over manual, letter-by-letter -letter typesetting. It created a faster production time using less workers. It dramatically increased production of printed materials. The machine revolutionized typesetting and newspaper publishing, making it possible for a small number of operators to set type for many pages on a daily basis. Lionel type was the printing standard from the late 1800s to the 1970s until it was largely replaced by offset lithography, printing, and computer typesetting.